Hello everyone, welcome to this week's Top 5 Tuesdays. So this video is going to be a little bit different. Instead of Michelle and I talking about our Top 5 Favorite Products, we're going to be talking about our Top 5 Favorite Beauty YouTubers. So it's a little bit, well actually it's very different from what we normally talk about. If you are new to this series, it's in collaboration with my really good friend and fellow YouTuber Michelle Wong. She and I talk about our Top 5 Favorite, whatever it is, depending on the category for that particular week so this week michelle came up with a really great idea she was like how about we just do top five favorite beauty youtubers so she and i um pretty much have different um favorites in terms of our uh, beauty youtubers that we watch but um i think one of them is the same and i will save that particular youtuber for last so this video, of course, it does not include Michelle and Risa Does Makeup. You guys already know that they're friends of mine and that I absolutely love watching their videos. So this is in addition to <laughs> those two girls. So if you're interested in seeing my top five favorite beauty YouTubers, then let's get on into it. So the first YouTuber that I want to mention is the one that really inspired me to start my own YouTube channel. And she was actually the first um, YouTuber that I really got into. And I did not even get into watching YouTube beauty gurus until 2014. So um, by that point, I think that a lot of the really big name YouTubers um, you see now were really kind of I wouldn't say just starting, but really starting to pick up their audience. And that's kind of like when I started watching. So my first favorite beauty YouTuber and my inspiration to starting my own YouTube channel is Rayview. So I love her. She does predominantly luxury makeup products, which is a big reason why I really got into her. And she really had a very similar aesthetic to what I like. She loves Tom Ford, she loves Burberry, she loves um, Charlotte Tilbury. She um, focuses on luxury makeup, luxury brands, um, luxury designer brands, things like that. So she really was the one that kind of started my whole um, inspiration for why I started to have a YouTube channel. I follow her on Instagram. I read her blog. She also has a great blog called TheRayViewer.com. She's really good with explaining things. She's really thorough. She has very good taste. <laughs> and um, she also has very similar skin um, concerns like I do, such as acne and acne scars. So I also was able to relate to her with that. Um, I just really liked her a lot and I always watch her videos and I'm always commenting on her videos and she's always really sweet and polite and you know responding back and so she's someone who anytime she comes out with a video I make sure to watch it right away. I am really inspired by her. I think she is beautiful. I think she speaks very well. She's super smart. She has really great taste in makeup, skincare, clothing, um, handbags. You name it. She also has a dog that she loves very much that she shares um, a lot with on her different platforms. The Ray Viewer is definitely one of my favorite beauty. All right, YouTubers. so my second person that I want to bring up to you guys is a really big YouTuber. He's got uh, followers in the millions, and that is Wayne Goss. Now, Wayne Goss can be a little bit controversial. I know there are people that either love him or they hate him. I personally love him. I have been watching him for a very long time, and I remember when his old videos when he was a little bit chubby and like he always did the wink and he always had a little bit of that um, charisma and that flirty kind of personality and now he's just like super hot. <laughs> but I do love his videos. I've learned a lot from his pro tips and his um, tutorials and his reviews. And I really think that he keeps everything kind of simple, short, concise and to the point. I get a lot of people why they don't like that. A lot of people like very thorough, detailed reviews, kind of like what I do. But with him, it's really short, it's very sweet, it's to the point. Um, he is a little bit controversial just because he sometimes does like to stir the pot. And I know that some people just aren't really into him. I personally love him. I love how he ends with that wink. I always wait for that. Um, I think he's super cute. He's fun to watch. I think he's very knowledgeable. He um, is really somebody who's aesthetic that I really like as well. I do think I wish, 
I do want to say that I do wish that sometimes he would be a little bit more thorough because I feel like first impressions on a lot of products is not always the way to go. I think that you really kind of give it, have to give things a chance to kind of decide really what you think about it, especially when you're somebody who's um, in the job of reviewing a product. That's why I always feel like my I feel I'm better at doing thorough reviews as opposed to doing first impressions because a lot of times my first impressions change. So I love him. I love watching his videos. I love how concise and simple and straightforward he is. I have learned a lot from his particular channels. Um, he, I believe he has two. He gives really good tips and um, he's definitely somebody that I enjoy watching and he is my one of my favorite beauty YouTubers. The third person that I want to mention is probably somebody that you guys would not have thought would end up in my top five favorite beauty YouTubers, but it is a YouTuber that I cannot get enough of. It's a gl guilty pleasure. This person makes me laugh all the time, and it is Rich Lux. <laughs> I know you guys are like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. He's like a drama channel. Yeah, he does a lot of like drama type of videos, but he also does a lot of beauty stuff and focuses a lot on makeup, and he does talk about drama amongst beauty um, YouTubers. So I just love watching him. He is super entertaining. He is so funny. You know, you really got to like have a sense of humor when you're watching his videos and not take things seriously. And he just, I love his little phrases that he comes up with. Like when he says, um, like for example, he talks about a particular um, YouTuber. He always like inserts something in between their name. Like he goes, Jacqueline, anything for views, Hill, Manny, or, Copper Eyelid, Nude Lip, MUA. Like he is so funny. Or he would be like, Laura, busted ass face Lee. You know, like it is so funny to watch him. And then he's done a couple things where he did um, like a parody to Jeffree Star where he calls himself Jeffree Stars. And he's like walking around. He's like, Nathan, Nathan, Nathan. Oh my God. And then I showed this to Michelle when I was in Vegas. He did one where he's following, he's outside and he's looking for Nicole Guerrero. And he's like, Nicole's missing. He's walking around going, Nicole, Nicole. Oh my God, it is just so funny. I love his different phrases. What, clock at the house, too booked to be bothered. When he goes, honey, 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 honey. And then he talks about, he doesn't even look at the actual camera. He looks at the viewfinder, which... <laughs> I find to be funny and then when he does do beauty reviews like for palettes he's the worst at swatching I mean the guy's swatches are all over the place he uses his thumb he gets into the palette and he's like oh I don't know oh, like that and he'll be like look 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 so entertaining so funny I really don't watch him for the most part I usually just have him on in the background just because I like to listen to him and I'm just laughing the entire time because this guy is just over the top so extra so funny I love watching Rich Lux. The fourth YouTuber that I want to talk to you guys about is another one that's I love because she is just so extra, so over the top, and sometimes I can't believe the things she says. And it is Natalie Flowerbomb, I believe, is her um, handle for YouTube. I'm sure a lot of you guys already watch her. She is so funny. Like she just can be so inappropriate at the right times. It's awesome. I freaking love it. I love how she you know, calls Tom Ford a dick <laughs> for his prices and for things he comes out, but she buys his stuff anyways. I mean, she is another one that is extra over the top, but she really likes a lot of luxury and high-end products as well. And she's really beautiful. I, I just have to give her, she's super pretty. Um, she's really funny to watch. She's like, she's not a hot mess, but she just says some things that you're just like, what did she just say? <laughs> and, you know, she has really good taste in makeup. She's entertaining to watch. I love anytime she does hauls, anytime she like reviews like products that she doesn't like. She's really good at showing you things that she doesn't like and why and she'll like throw it, you know? She's like, I didn't like this. Yeah, okay. And she like throws it, you know? And you're like, oh my God. And she literally does really throw the product. So she's another one that I really enjoy watching and anytime when she comes out with a new video, I am definitely- Last watching. but not least is the YouTuber that both Michelle and I have in our favorites and that is Tara Babies. So why do we love her? Because she makes our makeup addiction look like a joke. <laughs> this girl buys everything. She buys everything. She swatches everything. She pretty much predominantly, I feel like 80% of the time is doing hauls because she's constantly buying things. The amount of makeup this woman has is unbelievable. It's like Talk about 
having a serious makeup hoarding addiction. You know, like this woman makes me look like I'm, I have no problem. She's like, she makes me look so tame and so normal that I love her. I mean, I love her for her crazy wild makeup that she's unapologetic for. I love the fact that she doesn't care. She posts her hauls, she swatches everything, she gets everything. She seems so humble and so sweet. And uh, yeah, she's just somebody who is, I'm always watching because she's always coming out with hauls. So she's the person that gets everything, swatches it. So I kind of sometimes use her videos as um, a way for me to decide whether or not I'm going to get a product because I already know she's going to get it. It's kind of like Temptalia, but the YouTube version of it. <laughs> so absolutely love Tara Babies. You know, love her, the fact that she is such a self-proclaimed makeup addict. You can see her like toolbox size, huge makeup storage things and she's got more of them than i'm sure that's in that room you know because seriously she's got a ton of stuff and yeah she's just awesome all right guys i hope you enjoyed this video and of course when you're done watching my top five favorite beauty youtubers head on over to michelle's channel i will link her channel down below in her video as well so go check that out i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed and hit that bell notification button, and I will see you all very soon. Thanks. Bye.